we run away So let us up when we're low Just chase the waves We'll make it up as we go If you're happy, I'll show you where to go Won't you stay free, behind the town for love We run away, to get us up when we're low oh. I'm such an angry, it looks like a sign of love Look at that Alright, so this is the Atlantic side Very blue and it's like Sound, but people refer to it as the Caribbean Sea, but yeah. it, it really isn't the Caribbean Sea. Ah! another episode or should I say greetings from paradise as you can tell I'm in a very beautiful place this is Bahamas country number 46 so in case you're new to my channel my name is African Tigress a travel content creator from Kenya in Africa and I love to travel the world and take you to amazing places interact with people so today you can tell from my outfit <laughs> We are going to the beach, but I'm not going alone. I have someone who's, please come. I have someone who's taking me there today. Hey, hey everyone, <laughs> I'm Jared, and I'm the blogger for Elutra Explorer on the island. And today we'll be going to Sophia Blue Hole. That's in the northern tip of the island. And afterward we'll be, after the Sophia Blue Hole, we'll head over to the Preacher's Cave where the first settlers who settled it to the island, visited the island. They came in search of religious freedom, but we'll show you all of that once we get there. All right, all let's, right go. let's go. <laughs> and what's your YouTube channel? Edutro X. Well, it's my name, my full name, Jared Aubrey. Yeah. Because I do a lot of blogs for my artwork on the page and then the island. Yeah. It's a mixture of everything. I don't have separate pages for my account. All right. All right, I'll definitely, definitely put a link to his channel, his socials, and places where you can be able to get him and his work. He's multi-talented. <laughs> That's what I can say. He also does art, right? Yes. All right, so let's go. Made up of several islands, and yes, this is one of is one of the main inhabited islands. Yeah. There's like six major ones where yeah. people live, and then you have smaller keys of yeah. the island because you know we neutral. Yeah. We have Harbor Island in the northern area, yeah. and then we have Spanish Wells as well. Then you have Karen Island in the northern area, and then further south where the cruise ship comes, yeah. you have the Princess Keys. You have half moon key all those islands at the very tip of that is a lot surrounding that island all right all right what's the approximate population of elutra the last census was probably in 2020 and they recall it was being 11,000 plus but now i believe it might be up to 13,000 because the economy has been growing. Oh. So the population might have grown as well. Persons moved from other islands uh -huh. over to Ilutra. So do you know everybody? I think I know 11,000 people. <laughs> like in the island is 110 miles long. Uh -huh. So from my area, yeah. I know the majority of the people. If I don't know them by name, I know their face. I've seen them before. Uh -huh. Wow, 11,000 people only. Wow, that's amazing. I love small islands. How 
about safety, security and all that? For the most part, what you see, the safety is good. We don't yeah. have much crime on the island. We don't really lock the doors. The uh -huh. vehicles are unlocked. I left my vehicle unlocked and the key inside, so... Nobody can take it. Nobody would take it. Don't try that in some places or countries. <laughs> <laughs> Especially if you're not used to, to locking your car, you might be in some countries and leave your key in the car and think you're in Bahamas. So the main road we are on now is called the Queen's Highway. Yeah. And this road runs through the entire island from the northern tip to the southern tip of the island. And actually, the majority of Bahamian islands like Abaco, Cat Island, Exuma, they have a Queen's Highway. All of those islands that run through the entire Bahamas even though we're separated by water. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so basically it's the longest or the main road. Right. Highway for the Bahamas. Yeah, I noticed Eleuthera is narrow and long. Yes, it's very, it's very narrow. Yeah. Probably like three miles at the, the widest point. Oh, so I can run across. <laughs> yeah, so this is very tight. You know, you go that uh -huh. way for Spanish Wells and this way for... Oh, Spanish Wells? Yes, and then this way to go to the cave and Sapphire Blue. Okay. The preacher's cave? Yeah, so those, you have a lot of farms through here too. Farm. Ma mangoes and uh -huh. native fruits. Yeah. It's Sapa I don't know if you know. Um, I think I tasted it in Tobago. It's very yeah. sweet. It's very sweet, yeah. yeah. Farmhouse, you have your farm and you call it your farmhouse. You yeah. put a farmhouse on and it. You can That's stay right. On it. Yeah, you can stay on it. All That's right. the easiest way to claim the land. Because I like this rock formation right here. Yeah, it looks like the road was this It was place. just a whole cliff they just yeah, cut into they it. They cut through it, yeah. yeah. So we're approaching the off road to Sapphire Blue on now. Alright. There's a sign there. I don't know if you want to take yes, a Yes, I want to take the sign. Yeah, here we go. The Harbour Island, Harbour Island Commoners Committee. What's that? The the area from the airport and on the along the highway in the northern area. Yeah. That's who you will have to contact if you want to get how access. See if you're able to access the land oh you will be able to tell uh -huh. you from your family history yeah if you're able if you're qualified to get land so like my my grandparents like say if my grandparents were on the list yeah. of being approved their citizenship yeah. i'll have to get an affidavit or their birth certificate yeah. to prove that they are well, residents of mm -hmm. the island and mm -hmm. then you'll follow the pro the protocol yeah. was necessary so basically you mean uh bahamians if right. you're from here you don't buy the land not you qualify all of it. For it there are certain areas yeah. they call the commonage and then the crown land that you can purchase yeah. where you could be from anywhere oh, it's uh -huh. called crown land so you would have to purchase that okay. but the commonage land you can go once you have your family history yeah you can find some of your, your grandparents or your great grandparents and you'll be able to Research the list and if their names are on the list, you can get Alright, we made it. I need to find out if my grandparents are from Bahamas. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Maybe my grandparents are from Eleuthera too. You know? Probably. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so there's also pigs on this island. Pigs, yeah. Swimming with, pigs. They're swimming with pigs. Uh huh. So uh, this is the sapphire blue hole. Oh, 
Oh, that's know, like sapphire, navy blue. You know the the gem, yeah, the, the jewel, yeah, sapphire. Yeah, because of that, when the sun reflects into it, it gives it a nice the diamond look. Ah, oh. the sapphire, really especially the when color. the sun is right, aiming <laughs> on it. Ah, so right now it's not like that because the sun is not up. Right, yeah, and the shade too. Oh, and the shade. Don't go close to the edge. Now I'm not going you to the see, edge. You can walk around. Let's walk around the next side so you can get it from that point. Oh, okay. I see when the sun is direct, the right. color looks yeah. as it's I think you can see from this point what it looks like when the sun is like directly on top. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's go around. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Yeah. Oh yeah, the sun is behind the cloud. How was this hall formed? This camera is waterproof. You jump with this. Is it a, a waterproof? You hold this. It's waterproof. Okay, yeah. So you can hold this uh -huh. and jump with it. Uh -huh. Let me get along from the car. I will record you from this side. So this one you will just record yourself. Okay. Yeah, it's waterproof. Alright. Tell me about over there. Get a hike. So I'm going to do the jump. Yeah. <laughs> You're jumping? I'm jumping. Okay. He's gonna jump too, Len. He's jumping too. So what? He's jumping too. Where are you from, sir? Tell him. Virginia. He's from Virginia. We have Virginia. Virginia jumping in the Sapphire Blue Hole today with us, guys. We hope he's gonna <laughs> be able to get out. <laughs> yeah, the rope is right there. Yeah, swim over from? to the corner. You can see how clear it is now, Land from on this side. Yeah. So I'm saying it's crystal clear. Yeah. yeah. I just need the sun hitting it more. An audience. <laughs> <laughs> I'm jumping. You ready? No, wait a minute. <laughs> First day. I know. <laughs> You saw us record it. Huh? Love you. Woo! Wow. Come up. Wow. How's it feel? Did you notice the water color when he was getting in? It turned the color a little bit. No, no, no. I want them in the camera. Yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. Okay. You ready? Yes, we're ready for you. Okay. Ah! You see how you can see my feet clearly, right?
so this is the rope I have to climb up to get out the hole <sighs> there's Lynn over there you go up on the ropes why aren't you stepping on the ladder? you know? Oh, no. never <laughs> oh where are you? where are you from? Virginia oh the US? yes oh United nice States, yes. so do you stay here in Eleuthera? We're staying back in Eleuthera at Rainbow. Oh, you you just visiting? Yes. Oh, we nice. We did an Airbnb there. Oh, so why? Why here? Yeah. Uh, it's very occlusive, uh -huh. very private. We like it. it. Especially Eleuthera? Yes. Oh, yes. Dan Maso. Yes. Oh, nice. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Nice. No, no, no. We like, we like it to do the small things. Nice. Got to climb over the door. You got to get the right to get You there. made it. You <laughs> yeah. made it. How was it? Oh, it's cool. Cool? Yeah, it's nice and cool. Ah. Is this naturally occurring, the hole? Yeah, that's natural. It's ah. all natural. You know, it's actually like really so bright on the video yeah, compared to you, when I'm looking when at it. When you're looking at it, it don't look, yeah. uh, don't say so. See, you notice the one that corner now. Oh, yeah, I can see that. So you can imagine that the sun is like, you know? Yeah. Lovely. Thank you for taking one for the team. No problem. <laughs> Right to proceeding. Well, so that's one of the things that you can actually enjoy or do here in Eleuthera, and I think it's gonna be more fun if you have friends at least who can jump <laughs> or who can cheer you like I do, <laughs> <laughs> or like I would cheer you. Do it, do it. I can't jump to save my life, so I'd rather not try some things. So, what's our next stop? The preacher's cave. The preacher's cave. Yeah, so you'll we'll, we'll read about the information there, but that's where some of the first settlers, yeah, after they got wrecked in the ocean, yeah, well, they were sent by the queen to in search of religious freedom, yeah, and the ship was wrecked in the back there. Uh -huh. So they found shelter inside of the cave. Oh, but you'll mm. read more information but once we get there, the oh, yeah. year, yeah. and everything is there. And it's actually not far from the... Sapphire Blue Hole. Uh -huh. It's like two minutes, three minutes drive max yeah. from the Sapphire Blue Hole. All right. So from the Sapphire Blue Hole, you turn right. Yeah, you turn right. Like if you're driving, you turn right from the Blue oh, Hole. Oh yeah, yeah, you yeah. can drive. You can even walk if you're walking. All right. I mean, it's a good distance from civilization. Preacher's Cave. Oh, Sam, we're here. Complicating my editing. So we made it to the Preacher's Cave. Here it is. The Preacher's Cave. Let's go meet some preachers. We need prayers. <laughs> <laughs> I sure need that. I need prayers. <laughs> and you see everywhere they market the swimming with the pigs because that's something else you can Very do. Very popular here in... Like at the tourist attractions, they uh -huh. put, they plaster their signs everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah. Oh wow. See so you can you can read the sign right there. Oh. It says Preacher's Cave is perhaps 
most noted as a place of refuge for the first English settlers in the Bahamas, known as Eleutherian Adventures. Was that where the name came from yeah. for the island, Eleuthera? Um, the, the name is a Greek word that means freedom. Yeah, that's there. Freedom. Uh, this group sailed here from Bermuda in 1648 in search of religious freedom. After shipwrecking on Devil's Backbone Reef, they found shelter in the cave. They named the island after the Greek word Eleuthera, meaning freedom, and planted seeds of a new nation. So this is the Freedom Island. Yeah. All right. They had a, the shipwreck at a Devil's Reef or something, and then they named this reef. So that's interesting. Oh, wow. They have a beehive in here yeah, too somewhere. They have a beehive up there. You can hear the bees. So this was used for the altar right here. Oh, so this is the altar. I see devil devil back backbone found found refuge here. Oh Williams. Shipwreck. Shipwrecked at Devil's Backbone. Yeah, his name was William Sale. You barely oh. can see it. Uh -huh. <laughs> Sale was his surname. Oh, all right. So let's explore the cave. So this cave wasn't that deep. You don't really need a flashlight oh, to navigate this light. one because it's very short. You said you don't need a flashlight and I'm here turning on my flashlight. I swear yeah. there's some tools. Yeah, my, my flashlight can do nothing. <laughs> yeah. You see, oh, you um, see here there's some writing. So let's look up. Oh. Oh, so you're able right to see. Here. Yeah. Wow. And the same thing in the back here. Wow. Are these holes made by human beings so they are natural? <laughs> They're natural. Oh, there's another hole here. Okay, so there's one too. Yeah. Interesting. I thought maybe they created the hole so that they can be able to see. And then once you exit this cave and you go straight across the pathway, yeah. there's a really nice beach out there. And ah. You'll see how the ship got wrapped because there's a lot of reef out there. Uh -huh. And then sometimes it gets really rough. Oh, so there's some people who go out to explore the ship, correct? And honey? Okay. Oh, from a certain angle, it looks like a sign of love. Look at that. Yeah. Uh, my, uh, my eyes tricking me. <laughs> Looks like a love sign. So basically, someone can come here with friends for a picnic. Yeah. So one of the, so the, the social clubs on the island yeah. donated those benches. So if you want to bring, there's a lot of groups come. Yeah. Schools from the capital in Nassau, New yeah. Providence. Yeah. They usually sail over or fly over yeah. to visit these historic sites. Yeah. And then they just wait around and have lunch. Picnic. Yeah. People come also, they cook here. You can. Yeah. And on the beach. Oh, all right. Okay, so I'm so excited for the next destination. <laughs> because next we're going to the beach, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Just wait. Right on. Up next.
Where do people take photos here? Um, you I mean you can go on the outdoor, however you want to go on the side. So we're coming from the cave on that side. Walking. Short, short minute walk. Yeah, to the beach. What's the name of the beach? Well, we because that's Preacher's Cave and the beach is right there. We call it Preacher's Cave Beach. Oh, okay, fair enough. <laughs> But I wonder who would, who called the places. Okay, these are preachers, I understand. But where they crashed, they decided to call it Devil's Backbone. Backbone, because yeah. they crashed. Now they gave and it the a water, name. Yeah, the reef <laughs> in the back here, and the water gets really bad. Yeah. So I guess the devil is really bad. So they call it They attributed backbone. it to the devil. <laughs> yeah. Naughty sitting area. There's a, yeah, oh, a there's nice a table over there. Oh, so if you oh nice. So this would be a nice place for a cookout with friends. Oh my goodness, the sand is smooth. Yeah. Like silk. Wow. I like your bag. You know we have that store over here too on the island. And Governor's Harbor of the Capitol. We'll show you that I'll show you that store tomorrow. You know what in You here? can get a lot of Bohemian fabric there. Tell me, I'm going to show off something in my field. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, wow. This this, this one of me and so my so private. Yes. Most of the beaches on the island, that's why people like to travel to Elutra. Uh -huh. It's not like nasty. You remember our population? Yeah. It's in as much. And the persons who like secluded beaches, they usually come. Look at that. Here. You got that from Bahama Ham Prince as well? This is from Melanie, Mimi. Oh, okay. Mimi gifted me this. Oh, okay, that's nice. Authentically Bahamian. Ah, the wind is like... <laughs> so Stand wind. over here so you can get the back. Woo! Authentically Bahamian, eh? Yeah? Yeah. This is for, from Mimi with love, so... Help me thank Mimi for this beautiful Bahamian gift. Yes, ma'am. This is a nice gift selection from Bahama Han Prince. Yeah. This is really nice. Yeah. So this is a beach tower and authentically Bahamian, right? Yes. And they yeah. have a branch right here on the island in Governor's Harbor. Uh-huh. I'll show you the Hold store the tomorrow. Right yeah? Yeah. Oh, you're going to show me the store? Yeah. Love it. Alright, so let's take some photos and then we're gonna see before the sun goes. different the islands how you went to Nassau and it's like it's like you're in a whole different country even though you were in the same country mm -hmm. each one of the islands has their own special feel to it this one when you're at the beach you own the beach yeah I can even tell people I hired a whole beach for myself and then I didn't <laughs> it's just that there's nobody at the beach I rented a whole beach for myself anyway so we're going to a uh, next beach so this we'll, was we'll stop at the glass window bridge first uh -huh. and then we'll see the queen's bath yeah and after that we'll go to golden key beach all right all right okay we didn't even lock the we didn't even lock the car no i don't i just forget i tell you i don't lock it yeah oh well, you have stuff in there yeah Come on, no worry. Not really. Yeah, I do have stuff, but this is a Lutra. <laughs> <laughs> you know, my ancestors came from a Lutra, so I just need to go and claim some land there by the beachfront. Put this, sit, sit on this. This beautiful one. Okay, cool.
All right, so we're making another quick stop. So what do we have here? This is a mural that I painted for a bank of the Central Bank of the Bahamas. They were hosting a competition. It was during the pandemic. Yeah. The during COVID. Yeah. And I wore or I was around. I wasn't the winner, but I got I accomplished a lot from doing this painting. I got a lot of other customers yeah. after doing this. This one. Oh. Even though I was in business, they sponsored all the paints and stuff for it. And uh -huh. I was able to build my inventory of it. But this is a major tourist attraction called the Glass Window Bridge. Yeah. It sits right on the Atlantic Ocean, the dark blue side. And the shallow side is like Zoma Sound. People confuse it with being the Caribbean Sea, but we're not in the Caribbean. Oh. We're above the Car Caribbean Sea. It starts below like Cuba, the line. Yeah. We'll show you where the Caribbean Sea starts. Oh, so what? What did you call the like? Just like the Exoma Sound, the shallow side, and then uh -huh. the Atlantic Ocean yeah. is from here. So when the cruise ship pass and yeah. they go into Puerto Rico and stuff, yeah. they usually travel in the Atlantic Ocean. Oh. So the Atlantic Ocean, is South Florida, uh -huh. where the cruise ship departs from, they yeah. come here and they go to Puerto to Puerto Rico, St. Thomas, the Virgin Islands, and all from traveling in the sea. But many times from standing on the bridge, you can see those those cruise ships uh -huh. passing from on the bridge. And it's, pretty, it's a nice thing to see at the night. But if you look to the bottom, I have the information here. My name. Oh, I see. Follow me. Central see. Bank of the Bahamas, 2020, remember? Yeah. Yeah. Nice work. You're so yeah. talented. This is the island. This is where the star, this is where it's located. You see, this is the narrowest point oh. on the island. Oh. So that's why it's like one of the major tourists in the world. Yeah. Like it could be like a, what you call it, a world wonder. Oh. Yeah. So two seas, two seas. Yeah, it's the narrowest point on, on earth where the land meets, uh -huh. separated by ocean. I love yeah. the painting, it's so yeah. beautiful. Thank you. So beautiful. This take me like probably, 24 hours my brother like you could see this this is how it looked before this yeah. is like a more of if you notice so i had a spray wall i had a pressure wash it oh my goodness so that's what the it wall looked, looked like. like and then i did it all white uh -huh. all white paint and then i yeah. came after and do it oh nice a total of like 24 hours just painting non-stop well uh -huh. hours to get a merge because i did stuff within 24 hours oh nice yeah. Nice. Is this the sapodilla? The sapodilla. That's the fruit, a native fruit. Oh, nice. It should be in season. Hopefully, we'll probably will find one at one of the fruit stands traveling uh -huh. along the island. Hopefully, you get to taste it before you leave. All right, all right. This is very beautiful. Thank you. This is one of my favorite colors to paint with as well. I know. I love. I love it too. Yeah. I love it too, and I love that you're yeah. showing the different hues of blue. Yeah. Uh, just how the sea here is. Uh -huh. Yeah, I love it. And then see, our island is known for growing pineapples. A lot uh -huh. of places on the island would name after. We have an airline that's named Pineapple Air that travel between here and Nassau. Oh, really? So three times per day on a Monday. And if it's busy, like if they're hosting a festival or a holiday yeah. weekend, you can have flights up to five to seven flights in a day. Oh, nice. Yeah, so I'll show you probably the pineapple farm. Yeah. Tomorrow, maybe we can stop by okay. in, in our passing. So that's why I wanted to incorporate some color because instead of all of the blues to break up the painting yeah. with some bright orange, yellow hues with the pineapple because we're known for the pineapple. Beautiful. That's why I incorporated that. Group. I can't wait to taste So this Bahamian. is like a main intersection, a little busy hub. Yeah. Yesterday I was hanging out here playing bingo. We had bingo night here last night. Oh. It's a bar and restaurant. And yeah. they're, they're extending their gas station. I painted that sign as well. So I painted that sign and then there's the next restaurant, a grocery store, a car wash, a next restaurant, a restaurant and bar on the side is car wash. And then you have a next restaurant up there, an yeah. ice cream parlor, my uncle's bakery up there, and then the library and community center. So it's a little busy intersection right here. What's the show? It's like a shopping center. What's the name I of the not, place? It's not really a shopping center. It's just one of the main intersections uh -huh. because this is like the main Naughty Lucha. This way, yeah. you go to Corrin, and then from Corrin, you could travel over to Corrin Island. You have to take a ferry over there, and then that way you go to the airport, and you access the dock to go Jamesway Dock, to go to Spanish Wealth and then you take the right, you can access the dock, which is Three Island Dock, to go to Harbor uh -huh. Island. Yeah. So this is like the main intersection for for Naughty Lucha mainland. All right, yeah. all right, thank you. Yeah. 
So we're going to see the, the real glass. The glass window bridge. All right, let's go to the glass window bridge. <laughs> you know. You don't want no pastries. Yes, I'm not, I'm not taking wheat. <laughs> I'm not taking any pastries, <laughs> any sugar, any wheat. I need this. This is the little bakery. Oh, that's the bakery. Yeah. Uncle Tommy Bakery. This one, this one of the oldest churches in this community. This one been here for like 200 and some years old. So I think this is the oldest one. Oh, See the from... Bahamas Conference of Methodists from 1993. No, that's when they had the, the conference started. But the church is much older. Oh yeah, yeah. Because yeah. this looks time. like a building that was done way back. Yeah. Before. So you'll see the information on there. 1805. Yeah. yeah. Wow. And then this is this is the high school. Done. It was the primary school at first, yeah. and they added a few buildings to it, and then made it the high school for the northern area. And this one is called Nori Lucha High School. Uh huh. Oh. Because she looking like what's going on? Like that. <laughs> she, that's the principal. Oh, that's the principal. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? Milton, me. Milton Luca High School. Hello. Hi. Uh, yeah. Is that you all right? Right, dirty. <laughs> I know, right? I see you looking at like what's going on here. <laughs> Yeah. That's the principal. Oh. Actually, no, I'm mean, not good friends. So. so this road will take you to the current. Okay. That's a dead end. Only one settlement is that way. And then, well, two actually, because you have to take a ferry to access car and all that. See, so okay. they do craziness like this. They stop to that. talk. <laughs> Hi uncle, hi cousin, how have you been? I would assume a lot of people here are related. Yeah, a lot of people. It's your uncle, your cousin, your mm -hmm. classmate. You want to stop and try something? Uh, you know? that, that's a temptation, that's a temptation. Okay, we'll yeah, we'll pass that. Yeah, we'll pass. Hello! <laughs> we'll do this some other time after I've worked out. Then I'll sample something. You know that we have a lot of these like local number houses, like it's a lo local lottery. Oh. You have like computers set up in there. Yeah. You put money on your account, uh -huh. and then whatever number fall. In you the, win something. Yeah, or you, something. you can play for the U.S. The numbers that fall in the U.S. They use those same numbers. Ah. So if I want to play a number in Miami, Chicago, New York. Yeah. I can play and then they pay you a certain amount, amount. say like $800 for a dollar on a tree ball. Oh. Yeah. If the, if the same numbers that you pick, you play, win. you win that amount. Yeah, 
tiniest point. Wow. Wait, the beach we went, the preacher's one? Preacher's cave. That was the Atlantic? Yeah. Oh, that okay. Similar. That's why the waves are so similar. strong. Yeah, hmm? Okay. Yeah. Good? We finally made it. Oh my goodness, the wind. So this is what you drew. They are the glass window bridge. So this bridge is about 30 feet yeah. above the sea level. Yeah. And sometimes when the wind is blowing from that direction this way, yeah. it gets really rough. Yeah. You see these poles, the water comes over. What? The bridge. They have to close the bridge from further up the hill. Ooh. That way, and you're not able to travel. So if you have, a, if you're staying on the central side and you're catching a flight from the northern part of the island, you'll be stuck. You, no, they usually the, they make a makeshift ferry service from the next settlement. Oh. That restaurant over there. Oh. All right. So this is the Atlantic side. Yeah. Very blue. And it's like sound, but people refer to it as the Caribbean Sea, but yeah. it, it really isn't the Caribbean Sea because the Caribbean Sea All right. to that. So compare the colors here and here. You can see this one is more calm. Oh, the water doesn't meet. No. Oh, wow. That's what I've noticed. The rock. Yeah, yeah. That's an interesting thing. So first, it was a natural bridge before they built this one. Yeah. It was, and then the water, you know, I was telling you. Yeah. The pressure from the water just burst. Uh huh. And make it this passageway. Wow. So it gets really rough. The water just rush over to this side. But water comes over this, you know. Uh -huh, over the bridge. Yeah. So that the stairs be like 80 feet into the air. Ah. Uh -huh. These poles. I'll if, show you a video. Of if someone video. had a drone shot, it would be a very nice view. Yeah, like, you uh -huh. know, the two different you, when colors. You go up, when you walk up the cliff, you can see it better. The two colors are one. Okay. So I usually go over. Yeah, you can then, go. And then you see it from the peak. Okay. And this is a sign that come out. You can see the colors better. Mel, you. Okay. Very so, South Florida is over there. Yeah. Miami. The cruise ships you see pass from that way. You see that that look like one out there. You can see. Oh yeah, there's a cruise ship. I and see. They usually it. go to Puerto Rico and them and St. Thomas and the world and all the Caribbean. I'll start right in the back here. Oh, nice. Yeah. 
Look at the view from this point. So this is the Atlantic and the Exuma Sound. And the Exuma Sound and the two don't meet. That rock there. This is the and wild the, wonder. Why is it here? Yeah. And they call it a glass window bridge. People usually think the bridge is glass. Yeah, that's the what bridge I thought. The bridge isn't a glass. It's as if you were in a boat. It's from a boater's point of view. Yeah. If you're in the boat and you're looking at the rock, it looks like a glass window in the rock. Oh. So if you're far away, it looks oh, like a window. Oh, so that's nice. why they call it glass window. Wow. Nature is amazing. Now I understand the painting. It's just as you put it. Like right. one side very, very, very light. Uh -huh. And then this side, only in Bahamas. Let me, let me, let me touch a little bit on my phone. Oh, lovely. Oh my goodness. They are amazing photos. Y'all should go follow me on Facebook and Instagram so you can see amazing photos that I'm taking here. I don't know if you can see me, but I'm taking amazing photos. Look at that. Look at these photos. Amazing. Anyway, so I think the next stop is going to be the beach. Let's go to the beach. <laughs> wow, Bahamas is beautiful and this this is Eleuthera. Our next stop is the Queen's Bath. The Queen's Bath here. Yeah, so like I was telling you, the water just usually come over the rocks yeah. and settle into like a natural pool. Yeah. And then the sun uh -huh. heats it up and makes it really warm. Uh huh. So that's why we call it the Queen's Bath. Okay. And this is in the north of I Eleuthera. Eleuthera. It's like two minutes. Well, not even two minutes. That's a minute. A minute from, from the, the bridge. Yeah. yeah. So you can basically walk. You could do two stops in one. I love how so many things like this. You 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 get to experience two or three things in one area. Yeah. Yeah. Are this? I've seen most, a lot of pine trees. Are they native the, to? The, I. I don't, not really native, but a lot of them are in the country and these are, what you call it, invasive species. These are not really good oh. for, especially during the hurricanes, uh -huh. like they can do a lot of destruction. Let's go this oh, way. Oh, these ones fall, fall off. Like how they near the road, Yeah. it will uproot the root, usually oh. goes under the road, and oh. it, can fall, it can fall on those power lines and stuff. Oh, so this is not the normal pine, the regular pine, I don't know how it's yeah. called. We call it cedar, cedar pine, casarina. Yeah. Well, we call it cedar, cedar. Look at 
how I'm seeing the layers of the rocks. Look at that. Amazing. Looks like a drawing, walking on top of a drawing. <laughs> yeah, with the waves, yeah? yeah. So beautiful. Okay, can I say? So on a day like this when it's slightly choppy, yeah. it usually gets worse than this, but this is good enough for the water to just wash over into this natural pool area. Yeah. And then the water settles in there for a while. Uh -huh. Midday, from midday to around about this time, the sun heats it up a lot. Yeah. And it, it gets really warm. And it feels like a natural hot top. So that's where how deep is that it's not that deep it looks like about five feet maybe five feet i'm not, I'm not going to the queen's bath you have to wear these because they oh, have okay. like those sticky okay i have to show you so you know how to flow to flow mm -hmm. that's like on your back is it deeper yes yeah, it's like this it's little thing you deep. can go on that side or, or in the middle there let's see must be really colorful during the day when the sun is It was really rough and the water went came crashing and I create like a canal through the highway. Oh. I'll show you a video of it later on. Oh okay. Yeah. Alright, so I'm going to try get into the queen's bath because I'm a queen. Man, I'll pop that phone so I can get some photos of her. Did the fish bite? No. <laughs> it's like a glass. The water is so clear, like glass. I don't know if you can see the fish swimming yeah, the fish in, there. in there. Yeah, I see fish. I want to catch one with my hand. to the queen's bath if you're not a queen or a king you can't bath here <laughs> only for queens like queen mimi queen Etty. wow what a place so we are leaving and i think our next stop might be the beach if the sun is still going to be up Look at this beautiful, beautiful rock formation. 
Okay, so after the Queen's Bath, what's our next stop? We're going to Golden Key Beach. Golden Key. Yeah. All right. Oh my goodness, that Queen's Bath. Y'all need to go check out my Instagram and Facebook for the photos from that place. Our next stop is at the beach, and I'm super excited about that. The road, switch. What? The road, the off the road. Oh, it's off road. There's beach everywhere. I told you everywhere I was like every town is like five minutes away. No one is more than five minutes away from the beach. Ah. And we should record a little bit of this road when I come in. Every off-road is a beach. Yeah, but leads you to a it's a possibility. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Sunset, Sunset walk on the beach. This is now when I need to work out. You know I've not been working out since I <laughs> since I came to Bahamas. Yeah. How this? I'll leave. I'm gonna leave my shoes here. Yeah. Up to that point. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's so shallow. Yeah. This is nice beach for like kids. Uh -huh. You know when I was landing. I still love the beach, like big ones. Like, I think this is called the way. Oh, that's called the sandbank. I still love the beach. So if it's this all the way, it means you can walk out there. You know how the bank have a lot of money? Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. There's oh. a lot of accumulation of sand from sand. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right. That's the thing that's like, that's a beautiful the sense, like the smaller rocks, like where people go live on or whatever, they call them keys. It's smaller than an yeah. actual island. Uh -huh. Most of these, like these houses, and stuff, you can find them on Airbnb and VRBO. Uh -huh. You can probably find them on online. I need to check if my ancestry is from here. <laughs> <laughs> to go all the way back 200 years yeah 200 years ago and then maybe i would get one of these beachfront properties the water is warmer this side so on the, the on the tide is this low you can't swim you just walk deeper So these are the places like the couple we met there, they were saying they're staying by the beach in an Airbnb and they love Elytra because it's quite private. Mm -hmm. You can even have your own, a real tree house. Yep. It's so cute. Catch a sunset. Mm. Mm. 
Okay. You know what? And, you know, at the end of here, yeah, it's a resort. Oh, what the palm trees? Win, uh, name after the glass window bridge named Glass Window Willis. Willis? Yeah, Willis. Oh, yeah. Willis. Yeah. Oh. On my way back, I'm going to run all the way. <laughs> Exercise of the day. This is like walking in a dream. I've always dreamt of, you know, just walking by the beach and the sun is setting. Oh my goodness, I'm living the dream and I'm truly, truly grateful to all of you who watch my videos, to all of you who support me. It's really, really helps me a lot and I'm truly, truly grateful. And if you're enjoying this video so far, please hit that like button like and subscribe and share out this video on your whatsapp status on facebook i'll truly truly appreciate that all right so we're going to be leaving the beach right now i was trying to catch the sun but the clouds covered it so i'm going to be doing my daily workout right now i want to run <laughs> to the car so let's do this you don't have to run with me okay yeah. Well, so I spent the rest of the evening just running, jogging out the beach. The best workout ever with the breeze and the view as the sun is setting. What more can I ask for? So this is how I try to keep fit while traveling. Uh, jogging helps a lot if I don't have other equipment to work with. So I do lots of jogging, lots of walking, you know, to just try to keep fit. So thank you so much for watching this episode. I hope you truly, truly enjoyed it and you learned something new. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit that like button. Please, have you liked this video? Hit that like button, share and subscribe. I always say sharing is caring. Please go ahead and share this episode right now and I will definitely see you on the next one. But until then, bye-bye. Kwaheri. Love you.